People who treat substance abuse in Edgecombe County are sounding the alarm about new data from UNC Chapel Hill. A study detected 22 substances in street drugs in the county since September. When mixed with opioids, some of those can be deadly. WRL's Heidi Kirk found some people are using the information to their advantage. <laughs> This is a list of all 22 substances detected in street drugs in Edgecombe County since September. Now, some of these aren't too surprising, but others are making people who treat substance abuse nervous. Many of these names you probably won't recognize, but some you'll be surprised to see on a list of substances laced into street drugs in Edgecombe County. For instance, caffeine isn't dangerous on its own, but when mixed with an opioid, it can be deadly. It's very interesting to the people who are in active use. Dalton Barrett works to address substance use through a new community paramedic program in Edgecombe County. Since September, he's been working with UNC Chapel Hill to test samples of drugs recovered. But it's really um, helped a lot of people decrease their overall use just because how scary this stuff is. In Edgecombe County, there were 224 overdoses in 2023. People like Barrett are working to lower that number. We have patients who ask us each time they're here, do you have any new results? Savannah Junkins of the Carolina Family Health Center tells WREL she lets her patients know they might not be taking what they think. We've really had a lot of success with showing our patients those results to say, you know, we, we know we're working on the substance use disorder, but you should also know there's some other contaminants here that you may not have realized. Junkin says she finds many people she works with want to share that information with others. The thing that always strikes me is how much they want to protect others that they know from these substances that are there. In addition to educating people about their findings, the community paramedic program also offers things like Narcan training and blood testing to people in this community. Heidi Kirk, WRL News, Edgecombe County.